Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn binary search algorithm. Binary search, also known as half interval search, is a searching algorithm which is used to find a particular value in an array. The most important requirement for binary search is that the data must be sorted in ascending or descending order. Let's take a few real life examples which will help us to visualize binary search algorithm. As you know that pages of a book are arranged in sorted order. Now to locate a page, let's say 450 in a book containing more than 1000 pages, for sure you will not be looking in the beginning or ending. I will somehow randomly open a page and on the basis of this, I will go to the left or right side of this page. If the page number that I am looking for is greater than the page number I am on right now, then I will move to the right. Else, I will start searching my page number towards left and I continue to perform this operation until I find the required page number. Now let's try to understand binary search algorithm. So here is the list of your numbers which are already sorted in ascending order and below each element is the index or the position of that particular element in the array. So let's say the number that I want to search is 46. To begin with the binary search, first we are going to keep an account of few values. So this is start which is the first index of the array and this is end which is calculated as the length of the array minus 1 that means the last index. Now we are going to first calculate the middle position according to the values assigned to start and end. So this is how we calculate mid. This is start plus end divided by 2 which is 0 plus 9 divided by 2 we will be considering only the integer part which is 4 so for first time we get this as the middle point now the number that I am looking for is 46 so the element which is available at the middle position is 42 as 46 is greater than 42 there is no point in looking for my element on the left hand side of this middle point. So we will be discarding this part of the list and we will search our element now on the right side of the middle element. That means for this purpose I will have to move the start of my list one point after the middle element. That means this is going to be new start. So for this I write start equal to mid plus one. So this is the new start and we are going to remove this so now element will be searched from this part of the list we again start with the procedure of calculating the middle point so this time it is mid equal to start which is at 5 end is at 9 and we calculate this and we get 7 so this is now the middle point. The number now is available on the left hand side of the list. So we are going to search it here. That means we will be discarding the right side of the list. This is no more needed. That means my element 46 is now less than the element available at middle position which is 52 so if this happens we are going to move the end of the list because we are now searching in this part of the list so this is going to be the new end that means one position before middle so we change the value of end to mid minus one now in the last step the start you can see is at five and the end is at 6. We have logically divided our list into two halves again and again and this is where I am looking for my element. So I am going to calculate mid again which is 5 plus 6 divided by 2 that is 11 divided by 2 I get 5. So the element available at this middle position is 46. Now number which was actually assigned when which was 46 is now available at the middle position in the array so my element has been found 
and this completes my searching algorithm now you can clearly see in just three steps we have got our number 46 according to binary search algorithm if this was to be done linearly then we will be performing this operation six times to search element 46 so here I have listed out few real life applications of binary search. This will help you to visualize and relate the purpose of this binary search in your day to day life. Now let's understand the implementation of binary search in C++. The function binary search that I have written here has return type of int. The function accepts three parameters. The first one is ARR which is my array and already sorted. The next is variable n which is the element to be searched and next is the size variable which contains the size of the array. The function will return value 1 if the element is found in the array else it will return 0. As the very first step we define following variables. The first one is mid. This mid is used to find the middle point in the array on the basis of the values assigned to start and end. Start here contains the first index of the array which is 0 and end is initialized to the size of the array minus 1 that means the last index of the array. Binary search is an algorithm of divide and conquer paradigm which means we have to continuously divide our array into two halves unless and until we have found our element. So we are going to achieve this task with the help of the while loop for which the condition that I have stated here is start less than equal to end. This condition will be violated only in one situation that is when element is not available in the array and start will exceed the value of end and thus will return 0 from the function. So inside the loop my first statement is to calculate the middle position which is done with the help of this. Once we have found the middle position, the first condition that you see here is going to check if n exists at that middle position in the array itself. If this condition is true, then we are returning 1 from the function indicating that the element is found. Otherwise, we jump on to the next condition where we check if the value of n is less than the element available at middle position. That means we will be searching the element on the left hand side of the middle position and this requires moving the end of the list that will be writing mid minus 1 so end will now be one point before mid. So the last condition is where n is greater than ARR of mid. I have not written that condition because that is obvious. In this case we are searching for the element on the right side of the middle point. So we are going to move the start to one point after the middle element. And that's how we implement binary search in C++. For the code implementation of binary search in Python, please visit the link in the description. If you like the video, please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel for the explanations of uh, different algorithms. Till then, keep working with smile.